Hey everybody, it's Jenny from Norman That's Right. If you're like me and you go into buildings and look at the air distribution system, you probably notice this a lot. I wanna talk about diffuser sweating today. So let's get started. You've probably seen diffuser sweat before, or you've been dripped on by one. It's most common in southern states or on the coast, but it can happen anywhere. Imagine you're sitting under the diffuser and you start feeling drips coming down on you. This is common when there's a lot of traffic between the inside of a conditioned space and hot, humid outside air. I see it often in restaurants where the wait staff goes in and out to the patio frequently, letting in warm, humid air to the inside. When this happens, the air conditioning system runs for longer periods than it normally would, which chills the metal diffusers, resulting in sweating. So let's move this out of the way and look at the psychrometric chart. If you have a 75 degree space, but the door is open and the humid outside air has brought your humidity up to 60%, we can take this over to the psychrometric chart, go up from 75 to 60% humidity, and you'll see that the dew point is about 59 degrees. So if you've been supplying 55 degree air, it's likely that the diffuser surface temperature is close to 55 degrees, which is below the dew point, which will mean that condensation will form. So let's scoot this over again. So what should you do about it? Ideally, you would stop the outside air from coming into the space. For some spaces like restaurant or any business that has foot traffic all day for that matter, this is really not possible. You could raise the supply air temperature. In our example, if the supply air was over 60 degrees, the diffuser surface temperature would be over 60 degrees and therefore over the dew point, so it wouldn't sweat. But remember, raising the supply air temperature would mean you have to supply more airflow, more CFM, to handle the space in the load. If this isn't an option, another solution would be to insulate the diffuser so that it can't get as cold as the supply air temperature that's blowing through it. We'll bring all this back on screen now. So now you know why diffusers sweat and how to stop it from happening. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and thanks for watching.